we made it to Seattle and we are staying in the suburbs in this beautiful little RV park. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this place is great. Um, we It took a couple hours to get through border control and to get into the U.S. like just really long lines. Yeah. Um, once we actually got to the gate, it went pretty quick, but between driving in Vancouver and then Seattle traffic, it was a little hectic, but showing up at this place kind of turn everything around. It's, it's pretty gonna great. make up for it. I love it. Every single site backs up to these little lakes and it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to not just hang out here. Yeah, for sure. But we've got a lot to do and see. Yep, and including running errands tonight. So we're gonna get to it. Yep, do a little life stuff tonight and then tomorrow, Seattle. Downtown, we're gonna see what it's all about. We hear great things. My little brother Lamar and his family fight travels, they love Seattle. So, we're gonna go check out some places like Pike's Place Market, the Space Needle, yes, maybe Fremont Troll, also hopefully Alki Beach. So, those are just some of the things. I'm sure there's a ton of other things we should look at, but yep, a lot to do. Hopefully, we put it all in. downtown and we made it on public transportation which is like a miracle in America so feeling really good about that and we are about to see the Space Needle so hopefully it lives up to the hype I've heard that even though it's very touristy it's still pretty cool and you got to do it Space Needle. The tickets are timed entry, so you get in line at the time of your ticket. It takes about an hour or so to actually get up to the top. Pretty cool views up here. One of the things you have to do in Seattle.
Okay, so I feel like I always hear about the food here, but I didn't know there are like floors upon floors upon floors. You just keep going down these stairs and seeing different types of stores from art galleries to used bookstores and all kinds of stuff, anything you can imagine. It's really kind of interesting. I also had no idea it's just all these like really low ceilings. So I kind of imagined it as like more of a, more like the ground floor where it's, you know, it's almost a semi-outdoor, um, but this is a little different than I thought, which I, I really like it. It's, you could stay here forever. Ourselves. We had to come back and like enjoy it a little bit more. Pike Place Market was awesome. I wish we had reserved a whole day just to hang out there. One of the things that I love so much is that we get to go into a couple stores that I love and I've never been inside, which is Danner. I have some Danner boots that I freaking love. Best shoes I've ever bought. And Pendleton. Pendleton, yeah. Pendleton opened a new store this weekend while we were there grand opening. We have some Pendleton things, but we've never been inside a Pendleton store. And so that felt pretty fancy. So I didn't buy myself anything from it, either of those places because we po because it is gap year. <laughs> but it was so cool to get to go inside. I'd like to give a plug to this RV site because it is just so great. The RV park is called Lake Pleasant and it is just north of Seattle. It's just freaking adorable and it's $52 a night and laundry a dollar to wash and a dollar to dry we just spent $12 doing laundry like a day or two ago and I wish we had waited because this place is so great wonderful <coughs> we did get a little bit of bad news today it seems that one of the tires on the truck is a little low I put some air in it and it is losing air somewhere, somehow. I can't see a nail in it anywhere, but... Tell them how travel days have gone for us so far. Terrible. <laughs> All of our travel days have been either colossal beatings or ended with broken stuff. Yeah. So when we stay put, things <laughs> seem to heal okay. Better. When we move, it's bad and we've chosen life on the road. That's it. <laughs> Somebody is actually using the bed for two seconds. She used the bed that we bought her. Are you shy? You're using your little bed because you're a good little girl. Seattle was great. Yeah. Uh, what we got to see of it was really cool. Made us want to come back. Yes. Um, and like stay in the city. Yes. And get to do a little bit more. For sure. This morning you got to go take care of the tire, which we're so grateful that we saw. You saw the tire was low and we're able to address that before it became a real problem. Hopefully it's fully addressed. Yes. Should be. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, and we will let you know. Don't you worry. <laughs> you dropped me off at Starbucks. I got a little Starbucks in Starbucks hometown of Seattle. But one other thing about this park, I actually just talked to the owner and then I talked to a resident here is there are about a hundred residents that actually live here um, supposedly there's like a five-year waiting list which we're just gonna go ahead and get on it because this <laughs> yeah. place is so Pretty good great. it's so clean it's well kept um, the owner actually dug these ponds out himself when he was young and created this whole place himself and I just think it's really really cool really recommend lake pleasant rv park here in brothel it's north of seattle so yeah to hear our full thoughts about seattle tune into the podcast uh, make sure you're subscribed because next up is olympic national park and it's gonna be so good okay guys life is short wonder well <laughs>